Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Yomadeen is an Egyptian film about a man afflicted with leprosy. I know you're already thinking I'm out, but give me a few minutes to talk you into it. Whatever your notions are about beauty, family, freedom, this film will make you reconsider them. Because Yomadeen isn't just a film about leprosy. It features an actor, Radhi Jamal, who has the condition. Jamal's hands are disfigured. His face is described by another character as a hammered nail. It's heartbreaking. But Jamal and the director AB Shoki don't want your pity. Instead, with gentleness and humor, they persuade you to look beyond the obvious. The title Yobadin means judgment day. Jamal plays Bishay, who has spent most of his life living in a leper colony where he was left by his father. Bishay is no longer contagious. After his wife dies, he decides to go back to his hometown and find the parents who abandoned him. His partner on this journey is his beloved donkey and a 10-year-old orphan whose name, curiously, is Obama. So Yomadeen functions as a buddy movie, a road movie, a character study and a coming-of-age movie all rolled into one. But what you sense most strongly is Bishay's quest for dignity. Leprosy has seriously damaged Bishay physically and Shoki isn't timid about showing us that. We first see Bishay's back and then his twisted hands in close-up. Bishay is rummaging through a pile of garbage for things to sell. Bishay asks another man if he's found anything good and the man replies, it's all garbage. Bishay laughs. This exchange sets the tone. A little later, when he enters the colony, Bishay cheerfully says, greetings, sick people. It's funny and very quickly we start to see beyond Bishay's physicality. We see his wit, a flash of temper, his tenderness towards his sick wife. Shoki presents him not as Exhibit A to be gawked at, but as a fleshed-out character portrayed with profound empathy. Bishay and Obama's journey on donkey, lorries, trains and boat is tough. People recoil when they see Bishay. There's this harrowing scene on a train. Bishay is being pushed around and eventually he just shouts, I'm a human being. The stark Egyptian landscapes reflect his desolation. The film's naturalistic style makes the narrative matter-of-fact. The story does become sentimental. The flashbacks are structurally clumsy. But Yomadeen doesn't get sappy or manipulative. Both Jamal and Ahmed Abdul Hafiz, who plays Obama, are non-professional actors. Shoki found Jamal when he made a documentary on a leper colony north of Cairo. But both actors have screen presence and charisma. So even when the plot meanders, you enjoy their company. At one point, a character explains that they're all outcasts and there is no cure for that. <laughs> But in Yomadeen, the outcasts are the heroes. They have generosity and spirit, and despite their grim circumstances, a sense of humor. I found the film moving and inspiring, and I think you will too. Don't be scared by the subject matter or the subtitles. Give it a chance. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion, and don't forget to keep going back to our website, filmcompanion.in.